Hear it, the beat that ushers in a technological era. Ah, shaka boom boom boom. Eh, shaka boom boom. Okay. <laughs> shaka boom boom. I might have taken that slightly too far. Yeah. That. Let's keep you uh, updated on the latest news from the world of technology. Um, it's been about a year now, uh, a year and a half, since uh, the Falcon Heavy rocket from SpaceX made its maiden mm. launch into orbit. As uh, a publicity stunt, though, SpaceX then teamed up with another Elon Musk owned company, uh, Tesla. Ever heard of Tesla? You I might, heard know, Tesla. You might yeah, know Tesla. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, dubbed SpaceX Starman Roadster. Now, they launched an original Tesla Roadster, which was their very first product, into orbit with a mannequin passenger. Yes, believe it, with a mannequin passenger called Starman. You can see a picture over there. Uh, and this Tesla has now officially orbited the sun for the first time. Wow. And it's headed back to Earth. Uh, and it took it 557 days to orbit the sun. And it's traveled some 1.2 billion kilometers, according to the data from Where is Roadster? That sounds like an app that they launched. <laughs> anyway, yeah. We're currently on the opposite side of the sun, but we're expected to cross paths again in the future. And it'll be relatively close to Earth towards the end of 2020 on November the 5th. But um, you will only be able able to see it at night in the sky in wow. 2047. Uh, this is what was said and perhaps we'll intercept it in the future and bring it back to Earth. Uh, the snowman can tell us everything uh, of his harrowing journey then. Look at that. I mean, look at these pictures. Yeah. They sent that to go and orbit Labels. the sun. Like Elon Musk just, has he just got too much money or too many ideas? I'm not sure which one is, 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 is an overflow. Huh? I, I, I would love to just be in his company for like an hour. Hey? This, yeah, and it's like, what, what is the next idea, Elon? What are we doing sure. next? Give it to me. You know, all right. I, yeah. yeah, so I, I, I hear what you're saying. I'm, I'm orbiting like a around pink in the brain kind of thing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I got one better. How oh, much? Yeah? Better Wi-Fi streaming. Yes. Now, we've all been there. You're trying to watch a video on a public Wi-Fi or at home where several people are watching different streams simultaneously. Then the video starts buffering. The pixelation comes in to compensate mm. and it simply ruins the watching experience for everyone. It's a nightmare, I know. Yeah, because that now, moment you were waiting oh, for. Dun, 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 dun. Uh. However, experts from MIT have created a tool to reduce video stream buffering to help multiple people share a limited Wi-Fi connection. The group from the Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory, known as C-Cell, have developed the Minerva system, which analyzes videos before playing them. Mm. This process then checks what the potential impact would be mm. by playing that video at a lower quality. Mm. Minerva will then analyze both these videos in an online phase, meaning that they're not being streamed yet, oh. to see which could benefit from more bandwidth availability. More importantly, it will determine which could be served at a lower bandwidth mm. without losing quality. It then assigns bandwidth accordingly. You see what I told you? And you the result, you? everyone is smiling. Everyone is smiling. Everyone Dreams is smiling. have come true and you can now watch your show in peace and enjoyment. So you got, but you, got, do you have to download Minerva? You know what? I feel it, like it, your questions... Is it an app that you have to download? I'm just, I'll get back to you yeah. on that one. No, because yeah. no, this is actually a real thing because sure I now need yeah, to yeah. ask yes. whether mm. Minerva... Uh, asks you for permission to be a systems uh, administrator on your phone because if it does, it means Minerva can now remotely sure, switch sure. on your microphone and your camera and so many questions, you so little stuff. time. So it's it yeah. might be nice to have a non-buffering video. Yes, but is it listening to Brian you? Brian Smith, we'll get him for speak, you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyways. <laughs>